What is up, you beautiful people all around the world? Today, I'm going to be looking at the new song of Treasure with Jig Jin, if that even makes sense. Now, I have never heard of this group before, so I have no idea about their background story in any way. Nonetheless, I'm always curious about videos that are very hyped, and especially within five days, it got 29 million clicks. So let's just have a look at it and give it a proper video analysis. Let's see what we can pick out of it. Let's see if there's any nice details that we can get out of this beautiful beautiful MV and uh, let's just start no let's start with this beautiful video before we start off with today's episode make sure to check out the Fuku store below and use the discount code for 20% off your entire purchase fuku.xyz be bold be you all righty This location is just so wanted in a lot of K-pop videos. I've seen it with Taemin. I've seen it with, uh, I can't think of the group anymore. Like it's actually a group of multiple men, but anyway, super nice location. I love it because it's circular and it has a very nice, a very nice feel to it, if I can say so. Love it. Oh, nice. They even added some LED walls inside of it. Awesome. Again, using an old aesthetic, making it modern. Very nice. Very important. Beautiful as well. What is up with 2022? Everything seems as if it's not in a studio as much. And even if it's in a studio, it is really, really just good. What I like about this shot in particular is that the front of it is dark, while the back of it is very nicely lit with a massive, massive spotlight, and you only see a shadow. We don't know who it is, but it adds a bit of mystery to it. Nice. Nice. Wait a second. I want to analyze those cars in the background. What cars are they? I think, okay, that's a Mercedes, but what's behind it? I can't see it. Damn it. Why even have cars if you cannot see them? Oh, there we go. I think it's a Toyota Supra, I can imagine. It's a shame that you just cannot see the cars, especially if you have them anyway in the shot. They're really expensive cars. Beautiful shots. Very beautiful shot so far. I like that all the cuts are, also all the scenes, basically a little bit of everything. It's just a little bit diverse. It's not all straight. It's all from a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a, a tilt to it. And it's very nice, you know, it just makes it look, it makes you look at the sides of the characters. And I like that a lot, actually. Oh, there we go. We actually have some cars. So we have a Ferrari at P1. Mm, I love it. I love when they have sexy cars. Again, it's not needed. We saw, for example, with Super Junior, it's also nice to have classical cars, but I think with the younger generation, it fits it. You know, these are the cars of their generation. Nice. This is like the ultimate gamers room that everyone, everyone wants. What I also like about it generally is that the room is very small and it gives this feel as if, you know, a lot of young people don't have big rooms. Everything is thrown everywhere. But that's how it is. On the other hand, it is kind of funny that the computer that we see here is not a gamer computer. It's way too thin. I cannot imagine this doing anything cool. But what I do like is that we see the footage of the cars here. You know, the cars that we saw in reality, they're actually here on as if he's playing the game with those cars. Nice. Nice. So what I really like about these kind of stages, again, it's just adding a modern touch to this to this old aesthetic, if I can say so. You know, it's just nice that they they have all these LEDs walls set up, and you can see that they're LED walls because they're just clicked together here. You can see like it's straight, and then it clicks, and it bends a little bit, and then goes like that all around. Very very modern, and it just it's basically the future. LED walls are the future of uh, green screening, and it's a very expensive element to build up, but once it's set up, it's future proof awesome look at that nice man i love that i love that the beat just goes silent one sec i want to listen to that again awesome that's really different Nice. That is actually a really cool bathroom idea. You know, very rough, very modern looking still. Like, 
you know, if, let's say like this. If you had a restaurant, this could be a very different way of having a bathroom. Very like, you know, this destroyed look, a very rough look, but it's nice. Awesome. Also, look how the camera just follows his face. I wonder how they did it. Did they have something mounted to him? Because this was very, it was more rough than a machine. So I wonder how they pulled this off. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. This is really cool. The main reason why is that, uh, you know, gimbals basically have this option to do basically this 360 look that we see here. So you basically see the camera spinning nonstop. But you, I, I always thought to myself, when would I use it? Even mine does it. But when would I ever use this? And a scenario like this really makes sense. It just plays with dimensions, you know? Look at it. How cool is that? It just answers my question with this is the perfect scenario on where to use it and narrow narrow space maybe long and then it just twists with the room very nice you know what's very interesting by the way about these clothes that they wear so i go to louis vuitton stores once in a while of course as well you know but the question that I have here is, why do I never see these items? And I have a feeling that this is really just for the Korean market, the Asian market. I would never see these items. I don't even know where to find them. It's it's really just insane where they get access to these clothes. Maybe they're made especially for them. Maybe you know. Put it in the comments if you do know. Oh, I really love it. I love that the sound really just breaks away. I know I said it already, but it's so refreshing to hear something that I've never heard before. And I've never, never heard this in the K-pop world yet. This is very modern. Oh, I just noticed. So that wasn't a Supra. That was a BMW 4 Series. Yeah, new 4 Series. Now we got the party going, you know? This is how it's supposed to be. Great cuts, really, 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 really great cuts. And also it cuts between a light tone and a, a, a light tone, a cold tone and a warm cone. So more blue and then it turns to a more warm. We saw that from blue to warm. Really cool. Love it. The main reason why I love this entire sequence is because nothing is mechanical. Mechanical? It's, it's, it's done with a mechanical arm, other words, and a robot. But what I do like is that you can look a little bit outside here and you can see that it's, a, it's daytime. Again, I thought everything was shot at nighttime, but it's always nice to see these kind of elements because it shows that they film throughout all the different times of the day and it just makes it, it, it just shows how much time they put into it. Look at this. Everything is just handheld. You know, the camera all of a sudden just moves accidentally up. Maybe it wasn't accidental, but it's really cool. You know what I also like? I'm wearing the color that they actually have with this MV. Nice. Man, that's a big group though. Like they are massive. Okay, I want to... I know we're watching this for the second time, but I wanted to analyze it. I want to watch it once, of course, just without the interruption here. But what I really think is great here is that this is a massive, massive group. I don't know how many members are in it, but it looks like 10, 12, 15 or so. The point is that the areas where they shoot are massive. It really gives them the space to do their choreography. This is so important. I still say it till today, and I already said it in some of my videos. When you have a big group, give them the real estate that they need to do and perform the choreography. Don't use small areas. 
mass. It feels very cramped. And here you actually feel as if you could join in and dance with them rather than like, you know what? I feel a little bit uncomfortable because it all looks a bit tight, but this is very nice. Very good, very professional. Those LED walls, by the way, I don't know how much they cost to rent, but this was one of their biggest budgets that they used here. And it's really, really cool that it's actually synced with the music, it's synced with the choreography, awesomely set up. Whoever did the, the light design here, hats off to you, fantastic job. And also to the cameraman, very, very cool that everything is handheld, maybe with a gimbal, but it's nice. It's nice that they did it like this. Beautiful. I wonder where this is filmed, by the way. I, because I I've, I've was in Korea, but I just never saw these type of street lights. Like, if this was filmed in Korea, and if you know, please tell me in the comments. I'm very curious because I love these street lights. I've also seen them with Minho's MV, but um, just just tell me about it. I would love to know if this is maybe a standard in Korea or not. Hey yeah, guys, so that was Treasure with Jake Jin, and I must say, this is a party to 2022. I don't know the group. I will for sure make sure to check them out in the future again. Full of light, full of environment, full of everything, excitement, everything you want from an MV. And also on top of that, the locations are real. This makes the MV so much more realistic and it makes it so much easier to film because you just have no hassles with how elements look. The elements are there, everything is focused on the lighting and how everything is set up in that sense. And that is so much easier than having green screen special effects, which in most cases are not needed. And also they're quite expensive. And instead here, they did it with LED walls. Super, super cool, amazing MV. Like I already said, really futuristic. LED walls are the future and I hope to see more of them in the future as well because I would maybe use them for my own projects. You know, maybe I could rent them out and do something cool with them. Like I say, it is the future. It is a growing trend at the moment. Also in the Hollywood world, for example, it's just more effective than green screen. It's like this hyper realism because you don't have to edit in the background anymore. It's already set and people can feel as if they are in that location. It's super cool. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. And like always, if you did enjoy the content you saw, then please make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. And of course, if you have any suggestions, then please put them in the comments below. I would love to hear your suggestions and maybe some other videos from Treasure. But I just want to say thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you on the next MV. I'll catch you then.